Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I thought I would do a video response to Ashley Escort's most recent video, which was uh, on the new uh, gaming focus. Uh, what I think Ashley has chosen to do uh, in terms of restructuring his collection, I think it's a wise move on his part. Um, I think it's very easy for people to get caught up in the hype of the YouTube community um, you know, you get spurred on by others to pick up games that you think you want, but you don't really want. Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've I've been I've been reminded to pick up games that I generally overlooked. You know, thanks to uh, other people in the community, and uh, it's paid off for me. You know, so you know, I'm not knocking it. And for those people that go for full collections, you know, Ashley included, you know, it's perfectly fine, you know, if, if, if you've got a passion for a particular system and you want to get all the games for that system, that's perfectly fine. But I think sometimes, you know, you can get caught up in the collecting aspect and it can just spiral out of control. You know, um, retro gaming or just pick it, you know, game collections in general is a very expensive hobby. You know, uh, retro games are not cheap nowadays. So I always think, you know, it's best to sort of focus on what you really want, you know, and then if there's anything else after that you, you think you might want to get, then then fine, you know. But if you want to get the most out of your games and, you know, and be sure that you enjoy your games, you know, it's always best to get the ones that you really, really want first. So what, so the point of this video is, I thought I would just sort of highlight what my own collection goals were. You know, um, I'm a big fan. In terms of retro games, uh, my, my era was 16-bit. So I've got a lot of love for the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. So I just thought I'd show you a few games that were my own personal collection goals. First game, and I'm going to start with the Mega Drive here. First game, um, well, there was two games that sort of spurred me on to start picking up for the Mega Drive in recent years. Two games I've always won as a kid. Um, but just completely missed out on. Uh, and the first one was um, Alien Soldier. Uh, this was a must-have for me. Um, always wanted to get this game back in the day. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely one of those games that um, falls into one of my favourite genres. You know, the run-and-gun, side-scrolling action game. Great game by Treasure. Um, completely missed out on it as a kid. You know, it's just one of those things. So, you know, this was definitely uh, the first game uh, that uh, I wanted to get when I decided to pick up for the Mega Drive again. And the other game was The Punisher. Um, these two games were the reason I started picking up for the Mega Drive. Um, for, in, the, in The Punisher's case, I actually had no idea this game existed um, it wasn't until sort of like 99, 2000 that someone said to me, this game did get a Mega Drive release. And I was so glad when I heard that because I would have picked this up on day one, you know. But, you know, back then, uh, I didn't have a computer. There was no internet really. So, you know, the info was a bit thin on the ground. So, I, you know, I, I completely missed out on it. I had no idea this was coming out. Um, you know, the arcades, it was my home during the early 90s. Uh, favorite genre was the scrolling beat-em-up. So this was a must-have. Um, so I made it my mission to get both of these games um, as as very important for me when I started picking up the Mega Drive. But there were other games as well that I wanted to get. This was another one. Uh, that was uh, McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Um, always wanted to get this game. Now, don't laugh at me. This was a, a licensed game. Yes, McDonald's licensed, but it's a really good game. It's a really great platform game. Uh, it was made by Treasure. Um... And I've always wanted to own it. It's just a fantastic game. I was really, really happy uh, when I got this. The other game I really wanted was uh, Streets of Rage 3. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Streets of Rage series. Uh, Streets of Rage 2 is probably my favourite game of all time. Um, now, actually, when I was a kid, uh, I had the opportunity of getting this game. Uh, back in the day, I'd like, I'd, uh, I was in a store. I had uh, £60 in my pocket. And it came down to this game, or uh, Probotector. Uh, aka Contra Hardcore. Now I was a big fan of Super Protector on the Super Nintendo, so uh, when they announced, um, you know, Pro Protector for the Mega Drive, um, it, it had me sold. You know, so this game didn't really stand a chance. And also because I remember at the time this game didn't get uh, 
a lot of positive reviews from people, not from the magazines, uh, but just from the word of mouth. Um, people just wasn't feeling it as much as as the previous game. So I just sort of passed on it in favour of, of uh, Contra Hardcore. Um, but, you know, glad to have it now because um, always, always wanted to own this game. And uh, so obviously... Once my, you know, my Mega Drive pickup started coming along, you know, I sort of started to gain a list in my head of what other games I wanted to get. So I just saw, I'll, I'll just show you quickly uh, the other sort of games that were on my list as I started picking up for the Mega Drive. And these were all sort of, you know, those main games that I wanted. First one. Turtles, the Hypestone Heist. Um, you know, what can you say? Another scrolling beam up falls into my genre. Great game. Uh, enjoy it a lot. So, um, yeah, this was a must have. The next one was uh, Maximum Carnage. Never got to play this game as a kid. Um, I had the sequel as a kid, uh, The Separation Anxiety, but I always wanted to have this one as well. So, I was very chuffed to get this game because I actually got it for a really cheap price as well. The next game is uh, Castlevania, the new generation. was very happy when I got this game. Um, this was such a must-have game for me. So um, very, very happy because I love Castlevania. I love the entire franchise. It's just, it's one of my favorite gaming franchises of all time. And this is easily one of the best games to ever come along. So yeah, really happy with this one. And finally, uh, Sunset Riders, uh, another game. Really great uh, arcade game that I, I played back in the day. Great conversion on the Mega Drive and a definite must-have. Now, the next uh, the group are for the Super Nintendo. Um, I never owned Super Nintendo as a kid. I had friends that um, had Super Nintendos and I did, did get the opportunity to borrow their console and play a selection of the games. Uh, but as I mentioned previously in this video... Um, I was a big fan of Super Pro Protector. So, of course, when I get the console, first game I get, Super Pro Protector. Um, you know, this is probably my favorite game on a Super Nintendo. Um, you know, I was, I loved this game as a kid. Played it to death. Um, just, this is fantastic. I mean, I, I can't, words can't express how much I love this game. And uh, like the Castlevania series, you know, the Contra series has remained uh, one of my favorite franchises of all time. Uh, I love it. And this is definitely one of the best games on the Super Nintendo. No, no questions. No question at all on that. Um, and of course, you know, I did start picking up other games, but I made a list. Um, uh, I do have a lot of games that um, the Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo had that I never got around to playing. Always wanted to own them. Um, so I made a list. I started going for the games that uh, just appealed to me from the off. There was no doubt in my mind. These were the games I wanted to pick up. So I'll go through them quickly. Um, first game, um, got Batman Returns. Um, you know, not an expensive game, quite a common game, but this was a great uh, scrolling beat em up by Konami. Um, always wanted to play this as a kid, never got round to it. No one I knew had this game. Uh, when I started playing it in recent years, lived up. Fantastic game. Love it. Okay. Next game I've got here is um, Tales in Time. Always wanted to play this again. Uh, brilliant game. Uh, just, again, scrolling beam up. Loved it. Fantastic. The Pirates of Dark Water, a fantastic scroll and beat em up. Um, definitely recommend this, guys, if you don't have it. Um, but yeah, very was very happy when I got this game because um, when I started looking for it, I couldn't find it. Then out of nowhere, it just started popping up on eBay, so I nabbed myself a copy. Another must-have game for me was uh, The Adventures of Batman and Robin. This was a great, great game on the Super Nintendo Um and uh, very, very happy to finally have it in my own collection. Then I've got Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. This is brilliant. Um, this game really uh, lives up. Um, you know, Super Nintendo just had some quality tiles. You know, the 16-bit era. This is definitely one um, that is highly recommended. This is just a must-have game on a Super Nintendo. 
And the last few games here, I would probably say um, ranked very high on my must-have for the Super Nintendo. First one was um, Demon's Crest. Um, now, this was actually a game that uh, I only discovered after the fact. Um, I, I think I discovered this game on um, Blue Tonic 78's video. Uh, just thought it was a great game. Really wanted to get it. Uh, loved the look of it, the music, everything about this game just appealed to me. So, you know, I put it on my list and, you know, my most recent uh, SNES pickup, in fact. Uh, yeah, brilliant game. And these next two games were definitely um, the games I had in my head forgetting when I first picked up my Super Nintendo uh, not including the games that I did get to play as a kid. These were two games that I never got to play as a kid, but always wanted to. And they are Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3. Brilliant games, both of them. You know, exactly what I wanted to get for the Super Nintendo. So, uh, yeah, for the Super Nintendo, those were uh, my collection goals. Uh, I've, I've essentially achieved them all. Uh, I mean, there are a few more games, but I thought I would just sort of give you the highlights. And uh, just on a, a, a side note as well, just to add, uh, for the PlayStation 2, uh, this game, Sengoku Anthology, uh, which is a compilation of three uh, scrolling beat-em-ups for Neo Geo, um, was, I bought again, this is quite a recent purchase, uh, was definitely again a, a a pickup highlight for me. This is definitely a must-have game for me. Always wanted to get it. I had no idea this actually got a uh, European release, so I was very, very happy to find it because it's actually a really hard game to find as well. So for me, this was definitely um, a must-have title and I'm very happy to finally get it. So yeah, guys, I mean, those were essentially uh, my collection goals. Um, I mean, of course, in terms of PlayStation 2, there are so many other games as well. But uh, I'd, be, I'd be here all night just sort of breaking it all down. So I just thought I'd highlight that one particular game. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's always good to have goals in my opinion. I feel that, uh, you know, you should always sort of start with the games that you want first and then sort of move on from there if you wish. If you don't, then at least you're happy with the games you've got. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you like this video. Uh, and I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.